Uh, we found out this week that dead zebra mussels make our water smell unpleasant, to say the least. Even so, Austin Water says the water never posed a health risk. The mussels were in the raw intake pipes. That water would, uh, then goes through a disinfection system that eliminates bacteria or any biological material before it is consumed by people in Austin. The problem will remain in the short run. Austin Water will treat for the smell and rely on physically removing the mussels from the pipes. In the long run, they hope to eventually put copper ion coating onto their pipes. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. They're in all of the water systems. They're in all three of our plants, and, uh, and they're not going away. That's just one of the things we have to deal with in the future. Mazaros tells us that uh, protecting pipes from zebra mussels will cost millions of dollars. And the zebra mussel infestation is a problem that's not going away, as you heard there, anytime soon. We're currently in the state of, I really hope this research works. So birds, fish, and crustaceans that feed on them naturally don't seem to exist here in North America. So KXAN's Eugene Cho took a closer look and found a local startup that hopes bioengineering leads to a solution. Getting rid of these invasive zebra mussels that line the bottom of our lakes and boats. There's no great way right now. If you catch the infestation right away. At Lake Waco, they did a really great tarping program where they basically just suffocated them as soon as they found out they were in there. But for Lake Travis, Lake Austin, or Lady Bird Lake. It's uh, unlikely that they're going to be going away anytime soon. At Austin Community College's Bioscience Incubator, John Higley's startup EQO is developing a drug to help control the invasion. He explained it's kind of like what it did for cancer research. What, our, what we would do is basically retarget things to attack just cancer cells. You can retrain certain biological molecules to go after things that they normally wouldn't and leave everything else alone. The drug, Higley said, would be in the form of a microalgae. It would be safe for all other fish to eat, but it'd be a poison pill for zebra mussels. While this sounds like a great solution to prevent zebra mussels from keep invading our lakes, developing this biotherapeutic is a long and complicated process. I'm shooting for a year. Um, I think two years is comfortable. Higley is confident it'll be effective. This is a technology that's been used extensively in oncology. It's a proven technology. Until then. Everybody should be clean, drain, dry when you leave the lake. It's incredibly important. You should show KXAN News. EQO doesn't have a contract with the city of Austin, but they say that they have worked with Texas Parks and Wildlife and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Right now, they help agencies monitor the infestation. This week, they installed this equipment at Inks Lake. It can help detect the presence of zebra mussels so that they can try to catch it early and react quickly.